back to the sexy red record, like this sexy red record, once again, I I hmm, I don't like I it. don't dis I don't dislike I don't dislike sexy red as a person. I don't like how she presents herself. I because I just think that's just crass and un- I love unclass. It. You know who she remind me of? Who Cardi B. You gotta understand when Cardi B first came out, we loved her. Why? Because nah, nah, not a, nah, yo, Cardi, Cardi is hood, but Cardi is classy, yo. Cardi is classy? she know how to dress. She's classy, yo. Where? She's classy. Bro. Where? She's classy. Where? She's classy. Anywhere that ain't got nothing to do with her mouth, she classy. Like you know what I mean? She know how Anywhere to dress. That don't got nothing. <laughs> like, as long as she's not talking, she classy as hell, bro. Like, look at yo, look at the marketing. Like, look at how even when she be in the hood, she still look a little classy with it. Yo, she, sexy red look like uh yo, I'm not trying to disrespect Listen, sexy. All right, so when I say she yeah. remind me of Cardi B, I'm saying in the aspect of her personality and who she is. So for example, when when Cardi B first came out, she was one of the most, if not the most relatable person on the internet, period. period. No, I agree with that. So I think about that. it. She gave girls motivation that you can mm-hmm. go on a reality TV show. You know how I many girls go on a reality TV show with dreams of being mm-hmm. a rapper? None of them hoes can rap. Y'all can't rap. Give it up. Cardi B a- went on reality TV show, and she not only had a dream and made it come to true, but she made it big time. So mm-hmm. that's that gave so many women out there hope. Think about mm-hmm. Sexy Red, bro. Sexy Red is the most ratchet hood. She's the everyday hood chick. I mean, when I lived in the projects, the girls look like Sexy Red. So you mean to the tell girls me girls still look like Sexy Red? But I'm like, I'm just not. A, I'm not. I'm not in the hood no more. I'm just saying, when I was in the hood, the girls look like Sexy Red. So what I'm saying is, I, I I compare her to Cardi B because look at her. She's the she's real. She's relatable. She's she's saying, yo, your everyday girl can make it. Because look at me. And from that perspective. I give her respect and props. I, I'm I'm not, once again, I don't want to turn this into, I hate sexy rap. It's not that. What I'm saying is her visual appearance is not appealing to me. It's not something that, like if I was to see her on the street, I'm not trying to holler at you. If she was to even say something to me like, oh, I want to take you out, which has happened before, like some really super hood chick will come and try to holler and I'll be like, I, I'll be like, yo, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't want to have, that's not the type of chick I would want to have anything to do with. And then when I'm hearing the records, it's reinforcing everything I'm thinking in my head. I don't want to have nothing to do with this type of chick. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. Now, but bro, I mean, but what, who, 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 what did you, but when you, so you wanted something to do with Cardi B when she first came out? She was a stripper. Like I mean, what? Like, what's, like she was a stripper. Her teeth was fucked up. Like, let's not, let's not have I, again. Let's I, not have I, recency I, bias. I, I would date Cardi B. No, no, no. Before she had the money. Before she had the money. Crazy ass Cardi B is just a Spanish chick from the Bronx. That's it. Like, Bro, she, I'm, I'm, her, do we not remember? She, her, one of her first songs was "Ran Down." Ran down on a twice. You play with me, Dennis, forever. If a bitch play with me, like you, know what I'm saying, like, yeah. Bro, Cardi. It ain't too far apart. Cardi B just got some money. She got her teeth done. And she got the wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? She got the hair. Bro, she was rocking. She put fashion over on a map. Them jeans, $15. That's a fact. So, That's a fact. So what are we talking about? Class has nothing to do with price tag. Classes has everything to do with how you put outfits together. I uh, shout out to Ace. Cardi B was a stripper from the Bronx who was also a blood when she came out. She wasn't classy until she made millions, G. Classy once again has nothing to do with expenses shit or non association with game. Of class, it's, it's, and yo, and let's be real. The reason why we love Cardi B is because she was talking like real life shit. She was talking talking about you know how to stack bread. That was giving niggas bitches bitches advice. That's not why I we mean, love Cardi B. That's not. That's why the bitches love Cardi B. No, that's not why they love Cardi B. They love Cardi B because she was the most relatable person that we've seen in a long time. Yeah, not even, not, not, not even listen, not even Nicki Minaj was as relatable as Cardi B. Cardi B came out wearing, listen, Cardi B came out wearing Fashion Nova. The shit was cheap. If, listen, I love it. And, and no, you're saying that they love Cardi B because when she was rapping about, no, they, they it love even to this day. day. They love Cardi B because when she's talking about, when she's talking about politics, she don't have the best articulation. She don't know how to. She's not the most smart girl, but she's going to talk about it. She's going to give you her opinion. She's relatable. And I will correct you. She's not the most articulate girl, but she is very intelligent. And yes, she, yes. and the fact that she's 
She holds herself accountable and she tries to become better. Like, I love the fact that the person I'm looking at now, Cardi B, is everything I knew she would be. Like, yo, she was only a product of her environment. However, she was smart enough to learn and keep learning. Oh. You don't become the type of person that she becomes if you're not fucking actively so, learning. So, so sexy, sexy Red is there now. Like, sexy, red is sexy Red is Sexy Red is not there now. I'm saying she's sexy where Cardi B was. Sexy Red is a young lady who is out here having fun, kicking it, doing her thing, which I respect. Do your thing. But she, I, I don't see her having the same level of educational growth by herself, her wanting to become more educated, to become more articulate, to become more classy. I feel like, yo, this person feels like this is who I am. I'm Sexy Red. Kid. I'm, excuse me, Red kid. I'm Sexy Red. Hey, I like this type of thing. Uh, you know, I'm a fuck raw. I'm gonna have a bunch of kids. This is what I'm gonna do. Yo, if that's what she wants, go ahead and do your thing, my nigga. But don't try. I, like, I definitely feel like it's disrespectful to try to compare Cardi and Sexy Red, bro. We, you talking about two different caliber of women, yo? No that's just way. I feel like they're more similar than different. Nope. I mean, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and you got you got yours. Y'all comparing apples to apples? I mean, no, we are not. Kind of what I'm apple saying. Bottles, I've, apple bottles. Apple I mean, bottles, now what but, I will say is, did did Cardi B have? That, 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 that Cardi B have an extensive or like extreme way of wanting to 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 upgrade her life? Yes. Would I say that Sexy Red don't have that? No. However, is Sexy Red taking advantage of her brand? Absolutely. So yeah, I don't know what Sexy Red is doing behind her music, but I know she she might be just be branding herself. She's that re that everyday chick around the way. She can't be the smartest chick in the room right now because that's not who our brand is. So I don't know who she is behind her music and behind her bars. It seems like, bro, you can't just be an idiot in this in this rap game. She's not stupid. She's she's backed by Drake. She's with him all the time. So she's probably more intelligent than what we're giving what you're giving her to be. That's all I'm saying. Yes, Cardi B, when she first came out, she let you know that, bro. I'm not just where I'm from. And that was cool because we all didn't want to be where we was from. I get that. But I'm saying I think they're more similar than, than opposite. I just I, mean, I do not agree. And I take I, if you let's take how about we do this? Why don't you go back to Cardi B's first interview in a Breakfast Club and compare Sexy Red's first interview in a Breakfast Club? And then y'all can, you know what I mean, do it on, you know up. what I mean? Should, you, know, you know what I mean? Like let's 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 do that. Let's take let's go back and see some Cardi. You know what I mean? Like cuz I definitely feel like oh, let's see Breakfast Club. That's the good thing about live. We can, you know what I'm saying? We got you know, we got time. We could slow walk this thing, slow cook this thing. Oh Lord, Cardi looks so different. Oh Lord, oh my God. Play that uh, yeah. a higher playback speed, like one point two or something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see settings, playback speed is all right. You're watching the Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Special guest in the building. Oh, oh Belkalese. Oh, they, they never really thought much of me. That's your name, Belkalese? Yeah. That, that's, that's what the B stand for? The, yeah. Cardi Belkalese? Ah, uh, well, you know, everybody calls me Bacardi, so okay, it's okay, like, okay. it's a B. <laughs> it's just a B. So that's a shame that teachers, teachers you, would yeah. say that about you. They used to tell it's you not, that? It's not like they, they say it, it's that I feel it. Like, I know, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty smart in the subjects that I'm really good at. However, <laughs> like I was just always, I always want to, I just always like being popular. Like, oh yeah, I, I could do my homework, but I'd rather cut class and go to a hook body. So <laughs> I just knew they never really thought. Mm -hmm. What subjects were you good in? I'm good in history. Okay. She, knew, she knew a lot of the history stuff. A lot of the history stuff, she knew a lot of that stuff out there. Like the social studies type stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm really good. What's what y'all doing, a quiz or something? No, Revolt was asking yeah, right? to talk about previous oh, historical okay. people. I was like, what? what's your favorite historical, historical event? My favorite historical event, uh, I really study a lot the Holocaust event, and I really studied like a lot of things of war and everything, Got like you. little things. Yeah. 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 yeah I, saw no, that you were, I saw you were in Flint, Michigan. Yeah. And the people there were very excited, and it was nice that you shouted everybody out there in Flint. And they were like, it's great that Cardi can give you know, you go places. So I'm not going to go super deep into this, but let me, let me, let me, let me give you all a couple of little tidbits to, uh, off the top. Number one, the sign of a definitely an intelligent person is an interest in history and the things that came before them, because that helps you get an understanding of how you should move forward. For a hood rat chick, they talking about like, yo, I got an interest in history. And they got some different shit. Number one. Number two, she's personable. She's charming everybody in the room. She got little jokes. She's aware that she doesn't have a lot of education that she doesn't, she doesn't know the right things to say. Yo, that is a fucking sign 
of intelligence, my nigga. She's not just ignorantly just sitting up there being dumb. And once again, I hate that y'all putting me in a position to make like because it just seems like I'm trying to be negative against sex. Nah, you good. I'm, nah, we, it's it's we, we, we compared. I think, but she also said she would rather hook school and be in the parties. She literally yeah, said definitely. that. I mean, she's a young kid. That's what we all wanted to do when we was young. You know what I'm saying? I God never damn. wanted to hook school and be in parties. Never. Oh my god. Yo, shut the f yo, stop the camera bullshit. Stop the camera cap. Camera cap for what? I never right. wanted to hook school. Ask my friends. They did make fun of me. Yes. I never wanted to hook school. Never. Never. The club hoster himself bro, didn't want to. First of all, I didn't get into club hosting until maybe college, bro. I, I didn't, I wasn't into none of that shit. Bro, I was playing football. I wasn't into that. That's why I don't know about all this hip hop shit. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I didn't, mm. I didn't start drinking until I was 21. I didn't, I didn't mm. care about that, but I still was cool. So when I say I didn't care to hook school, when my friends want to hook school, I'm saying you fucking stupid. I used to tell them that. Like, you dumb. You dumb. <laughs> they used to want to smoke. You dumb. No. For yeah. what? I'm trying to make it to the league at that at that time. It's it's fun. Uh, did did you go to Patterson? Yeah, I, I went to no. Patterson. I went to Patterson. Oh, I, didn't to I got beat up and had to transfer. Nigga. Wait, what? Yeah, nigga, like, damn near broke my nose. I'll never forget my ex-girlfriend, her boyfriend. I was a freshman. This nigga had graduated. He had pulled up. I just got out the gym. Nigga, nigga was following us, and I'm like, man, you know me, I never been scared of nobody. I'm like, bro, like, why you following us? The nigga, like, I guess he wanted his bitch back. He like, uh, he said something. I'm like, <laughs> your girlfriend's boyfriend. Ex -boyfriend. So she had ex -boyfriend. Nigga, oh, ex -boyfriend. Okay, got you, got you. And he was he trying to loving this story. He won't see this because I don't know what the nigga look like. I don't even know who the nigga is. I seen him one time. He probably definitely know. Yeah, I, I beat that nigga <laughs> up when I was. <laughs> <laughs> You. Oh man, I know for a fact he probably he gonna clip this up like, yeah, that was me. Come to find out, that nigga had a metal plate in his hand and all that. Like, and it's Holy crazy. It wasn't even like a like a like a like a smash down, run down, beat up. He hit me one time. My whole, yeah. and you know about Patterson, we had like light blue uniform shirts. My whole mm -hmm. shirt was red. My motherfucking nose, my my shit probably still dislocated. It was like that motherfucker was crazy. But yeah, Holy so my mom, shit. you know, I'm from over west. So I used to go to Patterson by myself every day. Like, you know, it's, it's an east side school, but Patterson, like, like it's, a, it's, in the, it's not in the hood, but it's a lot of hood niggas that go to Patterson, like from over east. Mm -hmm. So me from being from over west, like going over east, my mom's already didn't like it. I wanted to play football. I played I played varsity at my, 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 my ninth grade year as a freshman, right? So like, I loved it. Like it was, a, it, was a, it was a football team. I think Coach Wren, it was his first year leaving. We had Coach Meat Rack, I forgot, Coach Johnson, I think his name was. And like, I... I started as a freshman, so I loved it. Man, I'm coming from the work weight room. I'm with my girl at the time. I think her name was Sade, or sh yeah, Sade with like S H A R D A E or something like that. I never forget. Boy, we walking, and her she was like, "That's our ex or whatever." But he following us, so I'm like, "Yo, bro, why you following us?" Like I'm a freshman. This nigga just graduated last year. I'm like, "Yo, why you following us?" He like, he said something. I don't remember, but he said something smart. I'm like, "Bro, what you want to fight?" <laughs> I, I ain't never been scared to fight. I tell you that, boy. Nigga, like, what's up? We get it squared up. I don't remember. I know we just threw a couple hands. Boy, I think I swung. He ducked and caught me in the nose. Oh, my gosh, boy. That probably one of the hardest hits I've ever felt in my life. My whole nose was just drenching. I had to catch the bus home. My whole blue, my whole, uh, my whole blue shirt, bro, light blue shirt was red. It was bad, bro. My mom's like, yeah, maybe you should try for her. That's when I went to Northwestern. And I turned up there, man. But, uh, yeah, I went to Patterson. That was – Patterson was a great school for me. Like, that was – that Patterson, it's a big-ass high school. That was a great school, bro. Like, and out that was a great school. I'm, I'm, it's unfortunate that I got my ass whooped and I had to transfer. But – <laughs> Whatever. I, I love your I love your willingness to be open and honest about Man, that. I, I afford a lot. I didn't kick a lot of niggas' asses. I got I got admit mm -hmm. when I got my I got a couple L's. I got a couple L's. A couple. Mm -hmm. I, had, I had to take some L's and learn how to get some W's. But um <laughs> nah. Yeah, back to Cardi being uh sexy red. I think yeah, I, I just never wanted to hook school, but you can go ahead and put sexy red on there. No, nah, I'm a, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Cause I, Good morning, listen. everybody. It's DJ MV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the me... Breakfast Club. Jess Hilarious, our guest co host. Yep. And we got a special guest in the building. Sexy Red. What's up, girl? What's up? How What's are up? you? First of all, you're pregnant, you're blowing up, but you still got to work. So, how you feeling this morning? Tired as fuck. Turn your arm. Um, we here twice. 
It's too early. Then your doctor say, relax and take it easy. You ain't been listening. Yeah, twice, bro. Working, traveling, doing shows, videos. Every time I go to the doctor, are you still working? Yeah. Weird. Damn. Damn. It's like an echo. Oh, shit. Let me fix that. Mr. A. All right. You feel like you're gonna miss the moment if you don't, you know, if you no, nah, I gotta get I can't stop work. I gotta get got it on uh full screen. Absolutely. Well, when you came uh, in, I, I spoke to you and the first thing go. you said was no, you can at least look at me. <laughs> she only wanna look at For you. For real. You ain't gotta mess with me, but she you can look at you. Okay, yeah. say, hey Charlemagne, no, hey DJ MV, just said hello. She's like, I'll be speaking. Yo, I was gonna say my name, so I'm right here. I missed it. Oh, I see you. Yeah, no, I spoke to her and she said, I don't mess with you, Jess. And I said, Why? She said, Could you be sneak dissing? I said, All right, tell me what's wrong. Tell me about it. what's up? All right, let me know why. You be sneak dissing. All right, how do you feel like I sneak this? I be, I see everything. I was trying to make sure y'all wouldn't sneak this before I came up here too. Where we sneak this? <laughs> hey, off rip. That's a woman to me. That's that's better than some of these men out here. They niggas be acting like, oh, she went up there, just spoke to her off camera. She said, nah, I don't rock with you. That's some, that's some real nigga shit to me. You know what makes this whole comment? All right, first of all, this was probably the most annoying. This is I, I, first of all, I hate conversations of this style. Uh, they and they spent thirty minutes, thirty minutes of her. Yo, just kept saying the same thing, asking the same question. Tell me specifically what I said. You know what you said? No, I don't. And just kept saying, "Yo, I know what I've said about you." I know I might have said this, that, and the third, but this was not meant to hurt you. This was not meant to be negative. Now, if you took that wrong, I apologize. No, nah, no. Nah. You know what you said. All of that. And then if you continue to watch, it gets to a point where she never said, she never admitted that even knowing. She just said, well, I heard, I heard. And I'm like, she like, but I never said no. I love you. I support you. I think you're the great. Yeah, yo, Jess went over the top to try to be apologetic, to be loving, to be supportive, and you yo, know, even that three. No, bro, I, I, I love you, this. You, this you too, and, like, and, and I, I'm gonna disagree. I love this for the simple fact we see two different stances from two women, right? That's super mm -hmm. important. No, mm -hmm. bro, if you do something to me, I don't have to accept your apology. So you can keep that. Uh, no, hold up. You can keep that. What, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. And I don't have to tell you what you did. You know what you said. You can stand on it. I don't have to. Ha I don't have to discuss it with you. And we need. And I feel like everybody needs to, to to learn this valuable lesson because, bro, I don't owe you no explanation. If you do something to me, you said that you you know you said things about me. So you stand on that. I don't have to tell you anything. One, right? I love that. I love that stance from Sexy Red. But I also love this the stance from just like yo. What did I say to you? Being apologetic, right? Owning her, owning her mess. I think, I think that's right. stand up. I love it from both individuals, from both perspectives. I don't agree with that because it's it like, all right, if there is, if, if, if I, let's say for instance, if I said something to be mean or, or if I said something that hurt your feelings or something that triggered you and affected you in a certain kind of way, if you don't explain to me what's going on, how the hell do I know? I don't have to, you can, uh, bro, you need to I'm be more. Saying, I'm not saying that you have to, but we're going to, if we're going to occupy the same space and let's be even more real, bitch, you coming on my platform now. Like yo, was just, just platform at the time. That's she was just a guest, platform. She was a guest host. No, 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 no. That was like one of her first official interviews as being the official co-host. No, that's not true. Yo, it's not true. That is, you want to bet? All right, we'll go back and research that bet? later. You but, bet? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't fucking matter whether she was a guest host or not. It's her platform when they asked her to be the host to be there. So yes, now this is I'm a part of this platform. So you coming in the room to get an interview done, yo? If I'm if if we're really having a real conversation and the young lady saying, yo. I love you. I don't see what I've done wrong. Mm. Can you explain it to me? And because that's what Jess is doing. Jess isn't trying to challenge her to be an asshole. Jess is not trying to attack her. Jess is saying, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what was said. Can you tell me what was said? Because maybe she kept saying, maybe you misinterpreted what I said. Let me explain to you what was said. And I love and that it, about Jess. I love that. I love that Jess took that approach again. But again, I think that people need to see both sides. Like, yeah, I think what Just did was stand up. Was a stand up individual thing. Was a stand. That's what a woman should yeah. do, right? Yeah. I agree that's with that. Adult. But I'm that's saying from thing. somebody, from somebody who I'm not like, I can appreciate the other side of yo. We have to be more intentional as individuals out here, as men, as women. We got to be more intentional with our words. So if you know you said some things about me that I possibly could not like, you got to live with that. I don't have to explain it. So if you did something, I don't need to explain myself to you because you know what you did. You know when you did it. You know how you did it. So at the end of the day, hello, 
I don't, I can, we can be cordial. I don't have to talk to you. You spoke to me. I said, no, nah, I'm rock with you. Period. Point blank, period. And that's from somebody, because I'm not like that really. But I appreciate that other side. I don't appreciate it at all because that to me that just shows a sign of somebody that is unwilling to grow that you're still in pain because of trauma from your past and that people are moments have happened and it triggers you and you haven't learned how to address the issue that's triggering you if you're not willing because at the end of the day somebody could have said something you took it wrong i've literally been in conversations where i, I yo i was fucking a girl and we were in bed and like, I'm, she said, she started talking about some drama that was going on around her. This is real life. I swear to God, this is factual. She starts telling, oh, what was me stories? And I said, I looked at her and I said, look, babe, it's going to be all good, man. You powerful. You smart. I guarantee you, you're like, this is all going to work out. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Do you know this girl got out of bed, got dressed and said, take me home. I said, what the fuck? What's going on? She says, yo, you being patronizing and disrespectful and da, da, da. And I'm like, by being supportive, but I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Like she had trauma issues from the past with dealing with whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And by me being positive to her, it triggered her to feel like, uh, I was trying to make fun of her or be, or disrespect her, but that's not what I was trying to do. I'm literally naked. Just got up out your pussy and shit. I'm trying to be like, we having a little cuddly moment. I'm trying to be supportive. The point I'm making is unhealed people will allow moments to cause pain for them and if you were to take yourself out of the out of that moment and you look back and, and you talk to the person who's talking to you and listen to that person you might find out that what you thought you heard that's not really what happened okay how you interpreted the situation isn't true so, so let's and fast it's what no i'm sorry i apologize i didn't mean because you were you good, brother. Now we're saying, good. Uh, let's fast forward past that part then. Let's because we thought right, our, yeah. our whole point is just trying to see how both of them articulated themselves in the interview. You are the same person as I don't play that government. Name. All right, I feel you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was you really fucking Drake? That was another thing I saw when they asked you about Drake. You're like, I be mm. fucking, we be fucking. Ah, uh, no, see, that's not how you playing. playing. How are you supposed to know when you playing Taxi Red? It don't matter. Y'all, they take, I feel like people take the internet too serious. That's even, why I even this though. But I play with y'all like, is. Like, like y'all not gonna really know what's going on. Y'all just. Once again, more, more childish. But is this childish from her though? Come on, bro. This ain't right. Because even how they approaching her, even how they approaching her compared to how they, think about it, bro. Let's be like, this, cause I hate when niggas do that to me, bro. Nah. When set, when, 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 when Cardi B came up there, right? Mm -hmm. The first, one of the first conversations that they had was, Bro, she's intelligent. She 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 loves history, right? They're talking about what she's good at. Not mm -hmm. even like they're still talking about you fucking Drake. They talk about nonsense. How would you expect me to respond in that? That like that like the way they're approaching sexy red compared to how they approach Cardi B. Come on, bro. The question was asked, yo, we heard you say this online. Oh, her response is, yo, you are taking all of this shit seriously. And he's like, the fuck? Like, yeah, nigga, we're in a multi-billion dollar business, nigga. What you said has an effect. Yes, you are a celebrity. So, like, what you say is going to have impact. That's the point. So, her trying to play stupid about it, like, oh, why y'all getting so... I'm gonna... Because, shorty, you're literally standing right next to the nigga. Mm. You doing videos with the nigga. You working with the nigga. So, like, yeah. Like, and you know that the... the yo... If either you're gonna say, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at her because the way she played it off was just like, yo, y'all, nigga, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just playing, but don't get all defensive about it. Either embrace the fact that you know you was playing and say, nigga, I'm just playing. That's some bullshit. Mm. Or you know what I mean? But once again, that she keeps taking that ass. See, y'all be, y'all be taking everything I do so seriously. Yeah, nigga. Cause you look. So where's the we, we, you said she didn't like. What? We're, we're saying that she didn't articulate herself as well as Cardi did in her first interview. Is that what we're saying? No. No. I just feel like what I'm looking at is just a different type of person that's not my vibe. I remember somebody in the, in the comments earlier was just like, yo, Jay, you just... Yo, you just, they, these are two different personalities. You just like Cardi B's personality more. And that is pretty much it. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm just not like mad, I can't argue that. I, and I and I and I just wanted to separate. I just felt like Cardi is a different monster from Sexy Red from the from the mentality space, and the mentality kind of rolls out into how they dress, you know, how they move around, how they present themselves. That's all I'm saying is that Sexy Red is a super attractive woman. Period. I'm never going to take that away. Sexy Red is bad. 
is she my choice of bad? Nope. Does she come off the type of person I would come off with? Nope. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Sexy Red might have blood affiliation. But Cardi ain't. I mean, like, they not sitting there talking about it. So, like, I ain't worried about it. But, like, I would prefer to hang out with somebody like Cardi versus, like, hanging out with somebody like Sexy Red. I've actually got homegirls that's like Cardi. <laughs> All of my homegirls is more like Cardi and less like Sexy Red. Girls like Sexy Red, I don't hang out with. Mm-hmm. And that's no disrespect to none of them, bro. I love all of y'all. Hey, when I see y'all at the cookouts, when I'm around my cousin's way and all that, y'all know I fuck with y'all. You know what I mean? I used to fuck a little gangster, uh, gangster bitch back in the day. You know what I mean? She used to come in my crib with the fucking pistol and all that, selling coke. So, I mean, you know, when I was young, I fucked around with some crazy shit, but it's just not my vibe no more. I'm just old. I don't even know how the fuck we got here. How did we get here? This conversation is so insane. No, well, I, mean, how we t- I think it's... A, I, <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just like, I just realized something. Oh, this I, crazy I, think, ass- I, I, I just think the people love both of them for a similar reason, man. They both no, I get super re- relatable. Like Cardi B is definitely yeah. somebody who's... um, But that also plays a part in it too, bro. Cardi B from New York. Sexy <laughs> Red, I mean, Sexy Red is from St. Louis. Right. What the fuck is insane? Uh, let me not do. But like, there's some bad bitches in St. Louis. Yeah, I'm not talking about the girls. I'm just saying the mentality. Wow. The mentality. Like New York is yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, ahead of a lot of the world. Right. You know what I'm saying that is true. And I and I definitely want to bring that up as a topic. Is that like because of they su- different places that they sit in? Maybe because we so used to East Coast girls. Like I'm used to dealing with New York chicks. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like well, even when I was in Atlanta, I would end up bumping into New York girls and would love messing with them. You know what I'm saying? More than other chicks. And so that might, I might just be a little biased, a little something. Cause, you know what I mean? Cause we all have our little things that we like. You know what I mean? So like, I love both I might of them, be- man. I love both of them. I think, uh, I, I don't like every song that Sexy Red drop, and I think both, and I think she, when it comes to like the poison, but it's hip hop. Like all this shit is poison if you wanna be real. So, so like, if, if, if Sexy Red fell through, right, and did the pod with you, mm-hmm. and then after the lights was off, she was just like, yo. Have dinner with me, like you know what I'm saying. I'm single, you know. She, you know what? She ain't gonna, cause I know how niggas is nowadays. She ain't gonna ask if you single. I mean, and you had a f- available situation, would you be like, yo, let's go? Nah. So moving on. <laughs> what you think I'm lying? <laughs> no, I'm I'm with you. That's what I'm saying. Cardi B, bro, we be again. We have so much recency body bias. Cardi B no- looks amazing, but she invested. And a lot of that. She invested a lot of money into looking amazing. That's all I'm saying. I forgot, I forgot how Cardi used to look. So like when I saw her with that first, when I was pulling it up, I was like, oh, Lord. Mm. But that's why, I, bro, and I, I ain't trying to be this guy, bro, but that's why I don't do celebrity crushes, one. Mm-hmm. And two, I never judge no chick like that's, that's famous or rich or whatever outside of the chick that I'm dealing with. Because, bro, money changes everything. These niggas be in relationships looking at these hoes that's like on the internet, the Dreas, the Cardis and all that. Man, they got their whole body done. And right. none of this shit no. real. You talk about some man, she bad, bro. I mean, your bitch would be bad too if she had a couple M's in the bank. Or a couple right. hundred exactly. thousand in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. oh no, bro. I don't be, bro. I don't really be doing it. I don't be, I don't have no celebrity crush. I don't be on that. Like, cause I mean, yeah, they look good, but it's a different playing field. It ain't the same variables. What they say, you can't you can't compare. Uh, in science class, they used to always say you can't compare projects when the variables are different. All the variables mm-hmm. have to be the same in order for you to compare. But you know, the weird thing is like all of my celebrity crutches from when I was young and I look at them now, it's crazy that you say that because I have a tendency to pick women that look way more like normal. Like they don't go for all of the extra stuff. Like Sade, mm. the singer, is literally my, I would, I would want to marry her. Just off of the type of songs that she creates, the way she carries herself in interviews, she's never had any work done on her body. It's just really simplistic. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I always had a crush on Maya when she was young, but I saw because I knew she was gonna be I knew she was gonna be thick when she grew up. So I was just like, yo, that type of shit. But anyway, like I'm, 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 I'm I ain't gonna lie to you I'm, though. I don't, I don't bro. I like, I like Joe Scott. I ain't gonna lie to you. I I, I wanted Joe Scott. Bro, I don't Bang. discriminate against um like surgery. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like Maybe I'm shallow. I don't care. Like I don't care about it. as long as it look good. That's not, not shallow at all, nigga. Yeah, like, I don't care. You like you get your body done. You, I don't care as long as you look good. You look good, presentable, decently. You know what I'm saying like you don't look like no hoe out here. Like you feel me? Like you can get. I don't give a fuck. You get your titties done. I know sometimes 
you have a baby, you might not feel as confident. Like, I understand. You feel me? Like, if you want to get your titties done, get your titties done. You want to get your ass done because you, listen, man, confidence is everything. And if you don't feel confident, yes. why not? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, I would, I would. I would love for you to go to the gym, but at the same time, let's be real. A lot of people out here comment on girls' bodies in the gym, and they really don't even know half because a lot of a lot of times to keep that body, you gotta be in the gym mm-hmm, to keep mm-hmm. it up. So, like, right. I mean, I'm not, I don't discriminate against that shit. 